Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People, fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my oh, nigga! Oh, yeah. What you been, mo? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch.
another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Chega! Que porra você tá fazendo? Como assim? Você tá com algum problema? Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Estamos aqui por conta. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls. Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Hey, oh, yeah. oh, there they are. Hey. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you gotta do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Shoot! What the fuck are you waiting for? Get us down there! Right! I'm headed to the helipad! 